uh, i have selected some positions from your game uh, i will not ask you who played uh, you are you were black in this game uh, asian okay. championship 2005 and we know you don't remember much about yeah. your own, about your own classics <laughs> <laughs> uh. all right so i kind of like this idea like when uh, your opponent played e5 you chose a very interesting decision uh, by the way here i want to emphasize one thing on number of occasions i have seen you playing h5 h4 uh, in many sicilian marocsis and also in <laughs> ma many games yeah uh, especially with this uh, f3 pawn uh, i think uh, this uh, h pawn to h3 is uh, very uh, very dangerous threat for white so when white tries to block this pawn with the h3 then you'll get a chance uh, to get the knight to g3 via h5 right mm -hmm. so it's interesting but here you are simply sacrificing a pawn in order to get the square the square yeah i'm just clearing the space for the knight Yeah, I found this like a slightly unusual tactics, and very quickly you got a very comfortable position. And I think here he simply blundered. He did not. Uh, she blundered. I think. Okay. Uh, I think it's a he. Uh, it's a no. he. Yeah, Orazli. Yeah. Uh, very Delhi. Ah, okay. Hitch. This is a Asian individual in Hyderabad. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually, I actually never heard of this guy, Orazli. Berdiliyevich Anatoly. But he Anatoly. must be a guy, not a uh, yeah. player. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Because that's with true. that rating, I don't remember anyone. That's that's true. And okay, here you. Yeah, I wanted yeah, to show this game because of this particular idea uh, of. Uh, Four, yeah? yeah. Yeah. Clearing the square for the match. Clearing the square. Yeah. Uh, this is very special. So uh, here uh, you are playing against uh, Bruzon. Who is twenty six hundred plus? This is back in two thousand three. Okay. Uh, I was quite impressed that this position it's a uh, it's a very standard position. White has uh, absolutely nothing to complain about. Complain about. Yeah. And, uh, black is also pretty solid. Yeah. I was uh, very impressed to see how a player of uh, Bruzon's level, uh, who was you know twenty seven hundred in, in the current uh, game, he was twenty six fourteen. How easily mm. he got outplayed from this. seemingly equal position mm -hmm. so it's interesting that you you started targeting this pawn with a very interesting mm -hmm. maneuver sal go g6 bg7 just some normal moves yeah it's very normal slowly power. slowly getting Okay, a six. I think uh, this is a very important move because sometimes uh, we see in these kind of structures, black even sacrifices a pawn with b five mm -hmm. to get the outpost uh, um, for the knight on d five. Right. You know, and also you you might also get tricks like playing knight c four and b five four. Right. Right. In some some situation. Yeah. In some in some situation. Sure. Sure. Okay. No, oh, this. Uh, yeah, I just want to eliminate this. Ah, okay. So he is planning to play c5 uh, with the knight on a5, mm -hmm. uh, and also queen b4 is available. Sure. So I so I decided to just have decided to exchange this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now my plan was to exchange this bishop. When probably I will go for b5 at some point. Yeah. Eventually you okay. will. You'll, 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 Get this square. D by square, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, here I'll go for the exchange. I mean, if I yeah, uh, yeah. I, I yes. mean, if I compare this position with this position, within mm -hmm. within ten moves from here with a twenty six hundred, you got mm -hmm. this position. It's it's actually pretty remarkable. Yeah. and i must say white did not make any uh, you know that yeah, obvious like kind of any, yeah yeah he played a, quite a normal uh, standard move right yeah, yeah. And, and finally actually you kind of said yeah with the pawn on f3 uh, <laughs> yes 
<laughs> you're back to your you're back no, it's to like a theme yeah, yeah. Uh, like when you have this uh, you can always break the structure yes, yes. with the right square bishop yes so it's the same thing white is also trying to play a5 yeah. and and it's interesting that uh, okay this square is weak but this knight yeah. cannot reach here there so is easily. no knight to occupy the square and two more two more pieces before the rook yeah. to attack the e6 pawn so strategically i can uh, it can be acceptable to play if i need it sure yeah uh this position i think it's really difficult for white to find the correct play yeah for sure see like uh, now there is an, all the pieces are stuck in a and b files mm -hmm. and uh, there is no concrete plan for white yes i mean i would understand if you played this game you know with some some amateurs but uh, white is actually a very strong player and he got outplayed uh, just by some pure positional maneuver and lost almost mm -hmm. without fight yeah. and resigned very impressive also uh, I, I i will add that uh, i have seen so many games of yours like this that it doesn't surprise me but i'm sure uh, many of our audience are not aware about uh, you know one of your biggest strength oh, actually i should thank you for just showing me all these games because i don't remember <laughs> them at all <laughs> so it's quite a fresh position for me also <laughs> no after my comeback it was like uh, i'm a new learner again <laughs> <laughs> right okay this one i know you will remember because this yeah, is this very special yeah this is special i remember because it's not my typical style to sacrifice the pieces right right <laughs> this was by the way uh, to the audience this is the game she mentioned that uh, she had a very bad performance uh, in uh, in where was this uh, world world championship right women uh, women world team no 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 i mean before this you said you had a very bad performance in yeah yeah it's a world championship match yeah yeah the world championship match in tirana against huifan and then after that she played world team and this was one of the game so the game is uh, very pretty and, uh, especially the finishing part all right i'll give little time to the audience here mm, uh, suggest a move uh, meanwhile hampi tell us uh, what was the team what was the indian team uh, uh, we had a very strong team at that time mm -hmm. uh, michael van topord harika uh, tanya somia swaminathan and i think it's padmini uh i don't remember whether it was padmini or risha exactly okay. i i i think both of them are in the chat at least padmini is surely in the chat she'll be able to confirm yeah, if she okay. was there or not and uh, what was <laughs> india's performance uh, yes um, um okay we we did not uh, get the medal we were very close to that uh, uh during the final three rounds so if I, if i'm correct if we had managed to make one, one or two draws we we, sh we could have got a bronze medal ah, okay. that was situation but we lost in we lost three in a row or something like that right right uh yeah meanwhile chat is saying uh, queen h6 is the way to go yeah that's right queen h6 is the way to go uh, take an e6 check and after f6 rook takes f6 if take here this is mate uh if knight f6 okay take here take king g8 and uh something knight f7 oh yeah knight 7 queen g3 knight h6 mate yeah queen g3 and knight, knight h6. h6 is mate yeah so that was pretty and king g8 knight f7 check and it's the same trick yeah this was very pretty but benia is asking i which... think uh, if if uh, uh, i guess softer queen h6 black should go for queen c5 check because there is a slight difference uh, in the game like she cannot give the check later on because i'll be having a rook f2 discovered check uh -huh. but here uh, she'll 
uh, just a second here black must be uh, having some other choice okay Mm -hmm. I also don't see anything immediately. Yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. Because anyway, even if knight f6, bishop f6, king g8, I'll get the same knight f7 with queen g5. I have knight h6. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking Knight. if I could do something like rook g7, but uh, also feels should be yeah. lost. I yeah. Mean, I mean, even ah, this no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me. No, nothing, nothing. No, no. I was uh, at first. I was looking at uh, knight h6 and rook f8, but queen is uh, going back to f8. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, meanwhile, Somme and Padmini both confirmed that uh, both of them played in uh, in this world world team championship. Ah, okay. So it was Padmini in the event. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, that uh, that was a very uh, uh, you know I enjoyed a lot playing with the team. Uh, we used to have uh, combined uh, dinners every day, mm -hmm. so it was a lot of fun. Right, right. Hampi, uh, I'll bring back some more good memories by showing some of your very classy games. Uh, this is another game that I enjoyed uh, when I was going through it today. Uh, this okay. is against uh, Jan Timman, uh, a great player, yeah. a former, uh, I think he was one number three or four. Or yeah. uh, maybe chat can correct me. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was in, uh, in top four. I just don't remember where. He played a number of World Championship matches also. And this mm -hmm. happened in nine, uh, 2009. Uh, Hampi is white. And Tim Man is black. Now, first of all, the move you played in the current position, I I cannot say this is a very typical move. So you might want to explain uh, what was your. Uh, well, uh, my idea was to stop this knight e4. Uh huh. Uh, because uh, if I go for normal rook c1, black will uh, play knight uh, to e4. Right. So rook d4 is kind of I'm controlling this e4 square. So now I'm also threatening uh, b4. Right. B4 knight e6 e3 is something very odd for black. Mm -hmm. So that has to be centralized. Right. So more or less black is forced to, to play d5. Yeah, and it's interesting because rook d4 uh, uh, from a layman's point of view it feels like okay one idea is rook d1 but that's not the yeah, point. Actually, I found this idea over the board like. You know, but I think it was already played. Uh, I checked it later on. <laughs> right. And in the uh, meantime, uh, I want to update you that uh, both Google and Kidambi, uh, they both confirmed that, uh, yes, uh, Jan Timman was uh, number three once uh, behind Kasparov and Karpo. And when it comes to chess, uh, I don't even know. I mean, I will, any day I will trust Kidambi more than Google. You know, Hampi, what happened? <laughs> you know, what happened, yeah. what happened the other day? So, okay. in, in one of my solo uh, session, I was showing a game uh, which I saw in uh, in my childhood. Okay. And uh, it's, a, it, it's a game from some 1700. And I while searching the game, for the first time I realized that uh, the way I remember the game and the, go, the, the way it is saved in Mega is different. So, in Mega the game is different and the way I remember is slightly different. Like the finishing combination. So, during the show, I said, uh, you know, like all these years, I knew it wrong and so on. Immediately after the show, I get a message from Kidambi saying that, no, no, you are right. Mega is wrong. And he sends me, you know, the magazines and uh, the authenticity that uh, the, the one that I showed that is right. Oh, so, actually, I could not resist myself to ask a question to Kidambi. <laughs> please, please tell. Uh, for me, like I always feel that um, my approach to chess is quite different from other players like I didn't have a professional trainer like I said I never read the books properly mm -hmm. so uh, I, I wanted to ask Kirambi like he must have done the practice like you know what the professionals do and he, he has also read everything like all the opening books right he knows all the theoretical lines in uh, whatever openings he plays so what really he thinks that is lacking uh, like uh, he, he his level of game was uh, stuck with uh, somewhere around two five uh, for many years two four two five for many years so as a player 
what he thinks is lacking because i i think it's happening with many young players like you know they'll they'll reach the level of a grandmaster or international master then it takes them uh, it it takes a long period for them to improve from there right it's it's a very interesting question i think uh, it's not only applicable for kiram it is also applicable for me and many other young players we all get uh, we always stuck at certain level yeah and uh, it's it's interesting to uh, to yeah i am sure so, okay when 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 we talk of certain level even i had the same issue but i, I sometimes feel that okay i did not uh, i did not approach chess in a complete professional manner Mm-hmm. see my my work uh, pattern is different right so i don't know if probably if i had taken the decisions to have a professional trainer or if i had moved to europe when i was quite young it would have been a different career correct yeah so i had all these thoughts in my mind but i don't understand why the younger generation is not able to do that that's true that's true and uh, yeah moving on to europe or having professional coaching but one thing i feel that everybody has their own method and uh, yeah. one thing is uh, probably very important that uh, uh, we should not be afraid of experimenting like yeah. uh, and changing like whatever it is uh, we should not get stuck with some fixed mindset yeah probably that's true <laughs> yeah so yeah and uh, once again thank you for being so frank and being so uh, bringing so much clarity i mean we are really appreciate this uh back to the game uh, by the way i i also tell i also want to share with the audience that uh, when we are talking about you know there are many players in india kidambi comes into mind there is another player which comes into mind is gb prakash uh, i mean they were players who were like exceptionally strong but yeah. uh, you know when you when, when when i even today when i play with kidambi i'll play with uh, huge respect because i know like these players are like very good and their rating do not do their justice no i think uh, this happens uh, to many indian players i guess yes yes <laughs> when we play in open tournaments there will be players with some 21 or 22 but they'll play at a higher level <laughs> right Uh, i don't know whether we should feel happy for that or uh, <laughs> it's something uh, uh, i don't know whether they are whether they are not getting the what to say uh, the exposure that is required right right another thing yeah like i will still uh, i still feel that uh, one should not afraid of uh, or afraid of changing and adapting to the new situations and uh, new circumstances this is very important like to be open to be able to you know like be flexible that you can learn at any age at at any level it doesn't matter uh all right humpy back to the game uh, so you played rook c1 so take stakes 95 okay a3 also very standard yeah queen c1 that's a very interesting uh, Ah, you want to play b4? That's the idea. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and now that you got everything on the queen side, just when it feels like you will start something on queen side, you immediately switch, and you start on king side. Yeah. I guess. Uh, square, right? Yeah, d7 is the key square. why not knight h5 and then anyway rook d7 is coming yeah yeah and if he takes now then here and f7 hang f7 and again uh, rook uh, d7 so kidam i have i've got answer from kidam in the chat he says i think it is quite individual perhaps in my case lack of belief and pushing the limits for humpy i believe lack of being professional and experimenting her own way is probably good Oh, okay it's it's actually amazing how players are opening up you know uh, they are being very yeah. frank and uh, yeah even yeah. just from the chat i think players can learn a lot and he says yes agree with Ori- uh, surya open to experimentation and flexible is good 
well thank you kidambi for joining uh, so yeah queen a3 cd5 and here here also i like the way you converted immediately seeking clarity actually this bishop is in a way looks uh, stupid like doing nothing but uh, mm -hmm. these pawns are kind of strong yeah and a very very nice finish yeah so this is against tim man uh this this particular game hampi i wanted i selected because of the opening phase uh, mm -hmm. because uh, this was a topical opening when i was helping uh, yeah. anand for girlfriend match okay and i want to show one particular position to the audience uh, which for chess players it might look uh, funny uh, uh, sorry for for professional players it may look you know uh, it's very common but this mm -hmm. will this will happen twice in the game yeah. uh yeah and if i have not mistaken uh this position was also play came in uh gelfand anand uh, moscow world championship match okay yeah uh gelfand anand moscow world championship match uh, anand played rook e8 which was uh, part of our preparation mm -hmm. and uh, yeah in the game again it, it was very surprising how quickly you got uh, advantage like at the moment it feels like black is doing fine uh, the structure is symmetrical uh, there is not uh, let, let me say this way that there is no obvious uh, weakness or problem in black's position yeah. it's more or less symmetrical structure yeah uh, but uh, here uh, the coordinate black is lacking a coordination correct. of the roots correct exactly so, so exactly that's so. the point i am going to exploit exactly so yeah this is very very interesting like this bishop maneuver everything came with a threat and black is really lacking coordination now yeah also i, I believe 95 was threatened to some extent uh why he cannot ah yeah he she took this she took but for, for this bishop of 7 and rook b7 yes 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 uh i have got few more games uh, yeah so i also wanted to show a little bit of uh, humpy's wins against uh, some legends literally so this particular game humpy is black against none other than caruana fabiano caruana this is in 2008 and uh, humpy was also slightly higher rated than uh, fabiano humpy was 26 12 and fabiano was 25 98 and uh, yeah fabiano went for complications here do you remember something about this game humpy well this is a final round of the event uh, i was uh, it's a quite it's a strong uh, uh, grandmaster round robin tournament mm -hmm. and i had a very decent score in the event uh, probably i think uh, uh, this game he, he he just wanted to win against me because of being a girl <laughs> <laughs> i think that's what helped me to win it <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah and you should no, it was not a tough game at all uh, you see uh, you don't see a caliber of a 26 player uh, losing pawns so quickly that's true that's true <laughs> i mean yeah and then there was like uh, easy technique okay somewhere here it do it does not matter anymore it is uh, clearly winning but i understand if it happens one time but you have done this number of times this is with uh, vashel lagrave in yeah this is a rapid tournament i think it's the same event where i won against anatoly karpov correct correct and when you are be be beating vashel i think it's uh, much more difficult to beat him in uh, rapid and blitz than in classical <laughs> he is even strong and no uh, 
this grunful uh, i don't know if we have the full game here or not uh, okay so no, uh, i can try to find out Just yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the game. So I, yeah, this is the game. As we know, he's a very strong, grateful player. Yeah, it's it's very difficult to break someone uh, right. in the opening preparation. Right. And like, I uh, I was already playing this variation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I prepared. Uh, okay, I can just go ahead for a few more moves. Uh, this is all theory. Yeah, this is all theory. <coughs> uh, okay. Uh, 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 Maybe rook f d one is ah yeah rook f d one also yeah. Mm -hmm. Rook f d one also is fine. Yeah. <laughs> So you were saying you you are prepared on yeah, yeah this f3 take on uh, f3 with the pawn is uh, uh, it 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 was a very rare idea yeah I mean I can see that that nobody nobody played yeah it before, nobody before played it so I prepared it for the rapid game actually interesting I just want to create some new position where I had some where I can have a plenty of peace play. Right. And I didn't want to risk too much also. That's why I, I rushed immediately for the queen's exchange. This was my idea. Mm -hmm. um, I think he, sh so, he should have taken here. I mean, allowing bishop e6, I uh, did not like in general. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, and another very clean game. Yeah. Yeah, just shutting this bishop basically. Actually, this setup reminds me of uh, some of Capablanca's game also. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me get to this. Yeah, uh, I just picked some games, you know, where you are, uh, where you are outplaying very strong oppositions, yeah. and with uh, again and again, I don't find uh, many obvious uh, blunders or anything. They are just getting uh, outplayed to some extent. So this is with uh, Radoslav Wojtacek, who was also yeah. twenty six hundred back then, and this is in two thousand six. Queen a five, I believe. Uh, White should play e6 here. Yeah, right. And just one single mistake, and probably he never got a second chance. Yeah. Your games have got a clear, uh, uh, like one can get an impression that you have seen a lot of Karpov games. <laughs> you know, it's like you are not. It's like I'll I'll get a very small uh, small thread of like very small advantage and from there I start grinding and <laughs> that's how it plays. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and okay, we are we are talking about some very serious strong players here. Yeah. No, no, yeah. This is also I think very signature move of yours. Yes, yeah. Uh, it's important uh, towards the end game. You need to have that blocking of the queen side pawns. Yeah. Um, also shows in general it shows your uh, patience level. And I must add that tactical alertness also. Uh, there is. Always this is hanging. Yeah. Yeah. 
finally I managed to get up on again this H5. <laughs> and thanks for this H5, yeah? Like thanks for this H5 here. Yeah. Yeah. If H5. I mean, if you would do if you would go here, at yeah. the end you will not have H4. Yeah, that's right. Thanks to H5, yeah. Uh, ah, this one is also my favorite. I don't know if you remember this game. This is against Juventus in uh, yeah. 2000, 2012. Yeah. So I was, uh, since there is not uh, enough time, I am never going, uh, you know, I'm not never seeing full games. So when mm -hmm. I was going through this game today morning, I got into this position and I felt, okay, this is just a normal position. White is not worse here. Black is also not worse. What is astonishing to see that the way white got outplayed by making some normal moves. So, okay, you played king h8. White yeah, had, it's uh, very normal to clear the square for the rook. Correct. White yeah. Play, yeah, white played rook e6. I felt this is little bit uh, not such a great move because the play is not going to happen along e file, but the play is going to happen actually along g file. So, rook e6 is one of those moves which kind of looks good, but uh, not very effective. And I like your the following following next like next four five moves. Yeah, look how I mean to the audience. Just look how he, how she is regrouping her pieces. Just from what position we got, what kind of position? And now suddenly these rooks are actually doing nothing on e5 because there is absolutely nothing on uh, e5. Already, already I like uh, black's position a lot. And yeah, even uh, in audience, I am saying uh, I am saying that people are saying it looks very natural. Yeah, all white moves look moves look pretty natural. And then white is lost. Yeah. Yeah. And if King G1, I think take. Such a lovely game. Uh this opening, Happy, how many times have you played this? Ah, I think only once. Uh -huh. Notebook. Okay. We, uh, we we have a specialist uh, in Notebook. Divya Deshmukh plays uh, Notebook, although in a slightly different way. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. this I prepared for this game. Uh, she is a talented player from Iran, and this is, I believe, this is her first Grand Prix. Mm -hmm. So she's playing. She's playing pretty good, but uh, you know she doesn't have any experience, right? Uh, with a limited knowledge of opening. So I, 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 I just plan to trick her in the opening. <laughs> right. Yeah. So. Normally, I see bishop b7 is more common here. Uh, knight yeah. f6 is not that popular. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but again, it is uh, it is the same typical story when it's not obvious where white made mistake. But very quickly uh, gets into a worse position. Al already, actually, I don't like white's position anymore. <laughs> I don't know where white went wrong actually. Probably this queen b1 is not so great. great. Um, I think even before, maybe. Yeah. Uh -huh. Or even 92, but 91 is b. No, no, before you cannot play. Yeah, maybe 92 is a more solid move. But the game itself. Uh, 
yeah and here also i i felt you came up with a very interesting plan like the most concrete one i would say it's natural to castle but uh, then once uh, you know white can consolidate somehow uh, then it may not be easy this here uh, i need to play where i had an advantage right so uh, it's the uh, a pawn correct that's the advantage black is having correct and and yeah and i can only uh, have that advantage when there is no queens on board mm -hmm. so immediately i'm rushing for a queen exchange that to with the tempo right uh it's like again improve improvement like uh, if i change it will be the white's bishop which will get improved to bishop a3 and it will have a c5 or d6 correct so i'm uh, waiting with the threat i'm wondering i'm waiting my knight uh, with the threat i'm wondering why she didn't play knight d2 uh she should play i guess she should play a queen d3 is definitely the wrong move probably maybe even some knight b4 could happen then yeah happen but then she can go for short castle yeah correct correct uh, i mean queen d3 feels uh... no 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 just a second knight d2 i can go can i ah okay it doesn't make sense okay fine yeah. ah okay knight d2 is uh, yeah. should be played should be played queen yeah. d3 is definitely a wrong move she must have overlooked this uh, queen b4 check i guess so i guess so Windy, she must have overlooked this because now you got everything you wanted. Everything, yeah, everything with the tempo. Yeah, right. Made it lost. All right, all right. One last game, can we see? Yeah, sure. Uh, this one I chose because. Uh, uh, yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. This game, like, uh, okay, uh, this is a world championship uh, knockout event. Uh, wait, and, uh, uh, wait a second, Hampi. Uh, just, yeah. just a second. Uh, uh, Vishnu had a question here. Vishnu yeah, sure. says, uh, after Queen e7, Bishop b2, Knight b6. Yeah, he has a very valid question. He thinks uh, White could have taken on e7, King e7, mm -hmm. and played Bishop a3. Yeah, but just oh, King d7, right? King d7 and Bishop to c5, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it has to be played. Yeah. Queen yeah. e3. Uh, definitely the losing move. This is another game now. Okay, black is having a very slight things. Mm -hmm. It's a game. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. All right. Yeah, you are saying something about this game, this particular. Thing. You are playing yeah. against Kalia Mova. Yeah. Kalia Mova. This is, this was from the knockout per championship, and this is our uh, first game. Right. Uh, like the two, this was the first game. Right. And. Okay, I did not expect uh, this line from her, mm -hmm. so I was not aware of this idea at all. Uh, with this g5 and uh, h5. Yeah, yeah. So all the moves I made were my practical lessons over the board, and which happened to be the best, uh, one. best idea. Yeah, best one. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what this is why I chose the game that uh, here also audience are saying G five. Uh, uh, is if what I remember well, uh, this was played against you or some or you played Me? something happened. Yeah, in your games also. Yeah. Oh my uh, goodness! Because, yeah, you are right. I was right. Yeah, because uh, after I finished this game, I saw the database and uh, but the. Uh, okay, this time I would not have I remembered this. I was right or wrong? <laughs> what I remember was. I played better than you. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I remember. <laughs> I wouldn't have remembered this game at all. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, G five was played with me also. And, yeah. And we had exact same position until here. Yeah. I played H G four here, and okay. you played Bishop E four here. I don't okay. know. Yeah. But in in the game, okay. definitely, I didn't have I didn't have much. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, because uh, I remember this uh, as this is quite a new line for me. Mm -hmm. So I was very happy that I managed to win. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> when I saw your game ended as a draw, <laughs> you definitely did better than me. There is no doubt. About that. Okay. So yeah, you played bishop e4. My game was h4 and bishop b4. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So Bishop E4. Yeah, for me, uh, I like this bishop e4 very much because uh, the, that was the only piece which has a chance to attack my king. Correct. Correct. So once uh, if I manage to exchange that bishop, my king is entirely safe in the h5. h5. Mm -hmm. So it's time for the black king to find its place. Right. Yeah, now you want to get knight d6 at some point. Mm, ah, no, 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 no. You are threatening queen a8. Yeah, you are threatening queen a8. Yeah, that's really I'm thinking why rook a1. Uh, uh, I guess I wanted to go for this set 4 f5. At some point, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Just a second, what was my idea for queen c5? Mm. She didn't play queen c5. Yeah, she didn't play. I was just wondering. Yeah. Ah, queen f4. Yeah, can I go for this? And, yeah, and then you want rook c1, yeah, somewhere. No, 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 no there's queen d5 check, is there? No, 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 what was my plan actually? Uh, I don't remember what I saw. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think she should go for queen c5. She should, she should have gone for queen c5. Uh, yeah. But yeah, there, there, there should be moves, yeah. Maybe queen g4. Mm -hmm. I still take him. Yeah. Feels a bit. I don't know. Wait. I can threaten mate. No, somewhere. I can just do this. Queen G five. Yeah. That should do. That should do. Yeah. 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 That. That's true. So she played queen D eight. King D eight. Ah, anyway, I got this queen of four, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a tremendous with the, both the rooks having the fights. Yeah. People are saying uh, it's very difficult to play like Karpo, Humpy or Adams, though their games are very simple. It is true, their games looks like as if they are not doing anything, but only when you play against them, you realize uh, how difficult it is to handle uh, the small problems which they are, they will constantly keep posing. Yeah, and then this was a very smooth finish. Yeah. 